For the second time in two days, Blacktown Hospital has been accused of a potentially deadly bungle. Parents say their baby was sent home with whooping cough, only to be told he was no longer the hospital's problem. Baby Ashton looks a picture of health, but just days old, his life almost ended. Disgusting. My son could almost, could have almost died with someone who wouldn't help me. Ashton was born at Blacktown Hospital in April. They both said, if you have any problem, ring the ward and they'll tell you what to do. Hours after getting home, Ashton seemed listless, burning up, as she'd been told Louise called Blacktown for help. I just don't know what to do, what hospital I should go to. And she said, I'm sorry to say, but you're not our problem anymore. So Ashton was rushed to Westmead Children's into intensive care. He'd stopped, he stopped breathing and um, they had just sort of got him back. The diagnosis, whooping cough. Louise says it must have come from Blacktown. And there's been no evidence that whooping cough was found within our facility. Louise wants to know why she was fobbed off. Blacktown's boss insists the hospital has a culture of care. Now, if individuals during a time of stress or anxiety as workers did not convey that, well, then I apologise. Professor Boyages has also defended Blacktown over two-year-old Brandon Leonard, whose case we reported last night. Sent home from Blacktown, he was later found to have a hole in his lung. There is no evidence of a misdiagnosis. What we're looking at here is the severe progression of a rare and unusual presentation of asthma. But the doctors involved will review the case. Paul Caddack, 7 News.